Before this video starts, I'd like to say credit to this user on Discord for coming up with this code and allowing me to use it. They've asked for a shout out on their bot, so both of these links will be in the description below of this video. Thank you so much to them, and with that, let's go ahead and actually get into the video. This is how you can set up and use user installed apps for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any of the other videos on my channel, you can go ahead and get a super or god tier subscription on youtube or you can get a god tier subscription on discord we also offer the bot tier which is a full zip file of the exact bot used in these videos and you can also get any of these four bot packages which are fully coded discord bots based on a specific topic all this will be in the description below if you're interested and with that let's go ahead and get into the code all right so to start you're going to go over to the developer portal and let's go ahead and go to your actual application then you're going to go over into the installation area so this is the brand new tab of the developer portal it's going to allow you to set your add app button for your actual application on discord as well as enable guild and user installs so the installs are where you can actually access your bot so for example guild installs mean you can actually install the bot to the guild and access your bot commands within the guild you installed it to but user installs is brand new and it allows you to access your bot as a user anywhere on discord so to do this, let's go ahead and click on user. Uh, we can save user installs. So now that that is enabled, we can go over into install link. Now let's go ahead and do discord provided link. And now we have user install and guild install. So let's go ahead and save changes to start. So we have our authorized link. So far, if we were to go ahead and open this link within a new tab, as you can see, it looks a little bit different. So we could either add it to the server here, or we could go ahead and say, try it now, which is use the discord bot as a user and then all we'd have to do is click on authorize at the bottom and now it's been authorized as a user install but let's go ahead and finish setting this up for guild installs we would just go ahead and select bots and we'd go ahead and just give it admin so now you can install it to the server just like that and i guess there's no selections that you can make for the user installs so i would assume once you set up guild installs then you should be good to go so with all of these changes made let's go over to the discord all right so we have our bot here and we have the add app button which i didn't have before so this is brand new because i just set it up using that uh, guild install so if we go ahead and click on it now we have the same functionalities that we had when we clicked on the link we could either try it now or add it to the server and here we're just trying to authorize it i've already done this but you could do it here as well so now that we've authorized it, we can go over into the code. So we're going to be using the slash command package for this, but it doesn't really matter what you do as long as you have the same concept. But we're going to go over to functions and we can go over to handle commands. So this is going to be a little bit different than creating commands as you normally would, because we actually have to set up user installs and user installs are not enabled within discord.js. So we actually have to use JSON to actually do this. So we're going to go ahead and remove this last line here uh, because we're going to add it back later. And all we have to say is if command.data and then we can do instance of and we can do slash command builder. Uh, then we can open this up and we're just going to go ahead and do client.command array and we can do dot push and this is going to be the same line we just took out. So it's going to be command.data.toJSON just like that. So this is currently functioning as it would normally if we use our slash command builder. We're just going to save it just like we were before. So currently we haven't made any changes. Then we can say else and we're going to do client command array. We can do dot push and we're just going to push our command data. So essentially, uh, we're now enabling two different options. The first option is the slash command builder. So that's what we'd usually use for guild installs. And in order to convert the slash command builder into something that our actual handler can use with the Discord API, we have to use command.data.toJSON. But if we're just using JSON, we don't actually have to do that, so we can just push the data as it is. So with this change in mind, let's go ahead and actually create a user install command. So to create a user install command, we can just go over to other and we can do user install js for the test so this is going to be a little bit different than usual let's just run module.exports and we can open this up so within this we get our data and it's going to be json so it's going to be name and that could just be user install we will get our description and that is going to be our user install command test so it's going to be the description of this then we're going to get our integration types 
So the integration types are going to be the user install or the guild install. So as you can see here, for guild installs, that's zero, and for user installs, that's one. So for a user install command, um, I have zero and one, but we could just go ahead and put one. Um, but I guess at the same time, maybe we also want to run this command uh, in a server, I guess. But let's just do it like this. Anytime we use JSON, we're only making a user install command because that's kind of the purpose of this. So if you wanted it to be user and guild, you could leave 0 and 1. If not, let's just go ahead and put 1 in here. Um, and we can actually just format this a little better. We can just bring this back uh, just like that. So now we have our integration types. Next, we can do our context. And contexts have a little bit different functionality as well. So the contexts are either guild, bot DM, or private channel. So 0 for guild, which means integrations can be used within servers. One for bot DMs, meaning you can use your bot in anybody's DMs, and two for private channels, so integrations can be used within group DMs and DMs other than the app's bot user. So we want to install all of these for integrations. So to do that, uh, we're just going to open up an array and we're going to go ahead and say zero, one, and two. So we're going to go ahead and get all three of those because with our user install commands, we want to be able to use them everywhere on Discord that we can. Then we're going to add a comma, and we're going to treat this like we usually would. So we can do async executes, we're going to get our interaction, and we can open this up. Within this, we can just make a reply. So we can do await interaction or reply. We could set contents, and we could go ahead and get an emoji, and we can say works, or working, or whatever we want to do. Um, and I believe it's going to be set to informal by default, but just to be safe, let's set it to informal because I believe there's some bugs in here. So now that we're done with this, let's go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord, let's go ahead and test this out. We have our bot. Like I said before, you're going to need to authorize it using this, the top one that says beta. Uh, and then once it's authorized, we should be able to use our commands everywhere on Discord. We could even do it in the official developer server, just to prove a point here. So if we're in the official developer server, let's go ahead and open up these slash commands. And we have our bot, which seems crazy because the bot's obviously not in the server. But we have our user install command. So if we were to actually run this, it's a little bit scary because... You know, it's a pretty big server, but it will be informal. As you can see, it's in beta, and it says you can use this app anywhere on Discord. Responses are only visible to you in servers with only 25 people. So over 25 people um, in the guild, that means you can use it. So that is the case here. So if we go ahead and send it, as you can see, it's going to be working. Um, and then here, it also says only you can see this message during beta. So it's going to be default set to informal. So I guess we could take off informal, and it would still be set to informal. All right, so let's keep going. Let's go ahead and and try to use it in my bots DMs and as you can see here it's here again so if we send it it's gonna say it's working now um, it is not gonna be set to informal in private DMs so that's a good reason to set it to informal so um, if you don't set it to informal you will not have an informal message within DMs all right so I went ahead and created a new group DM let's go ahead and test it here as you can see because we've enabled all of our contacts we can now use the user install within the group chat so we're able to use bots within group chats and again because it's in a group chat not a guild that means it's not going to be auto set to informal so let's go back over into the code change one or two things so we can go ahead and test a few more things out all right so back over in the code all i want to do is just remove informal because i want to show that it's going to be hidden in bigger guilds so let's go over into the discord again and test this out so let's go ahead and test this out in our group chat and as you can see informal is not enabled so now we can actually go ahead and send our bots command within the group chat now let's go back into the developer server and we can go ahead and run it in here. We can run our user install command. As you can see, it's going to be informal because it's going to set it to informal in Discord servers. Uh, that is currently in beta, I guess, so we'll see what happens with that. But that is how you can add user installs to your Discord.js version 14 bot. I feel like this has so many functionalities, especially within group chats, because um, I've always wanted to be able to use bots in group chats. Um, I mean, you could have so many different features. You could have AI in group chats. That's kind of like when you could use Clyde uh, in group chats. Um, and even being able to use it in Discord servers that don't have the bot that you want to use, it's a very, very good feature. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.